Have you heard of a story? This is a very famous story and in Chinese history called a donkey in a well. Well, you didn't hear that story. Okay, <laughs> no problem. And a uh, long time ago in China, ancient China, uh, there was a village and they just got an order from uh, magistrate saying that they need to build a shrine for the emperor. And uh, if they can meet the deadline, if they could meet the deadline, if they, are, they were doing a good job, they would be rewarded very handsomely. But unfortunately, the location selected for that temple has a well. So the first thing, they have to fill the well. They brought a, a donkey in. So the donkey worked very hard carrying sand, dirt, and mud, and rocks, and back and forth from the field, from the nearby hill, to fill the well. And the workers doing very well. And then an accident occurred. One of the donkey's feet lost control, and he fell into the well. So the villagers tried to save him, of course, and lived and tried all kinds of things to save him. And um, after a few uh, failed attempts, they realized this was going to take a long time, and they probably wouldn't even know that he could be saved. And had the deadline in mind, and also the handsome reward in mind, they felt they had no choice but to sacrifice the donkey. So they proceeded with the shovel, sand, and they had to bury him alive. So the rain of the sand, the mud, and the dirt, and the rocks is coming down, <coughs> pouring down over the monkey into the well. After monkey, uh, not monkey, a donkey, that, uh, after donkey realized what was happening, he started to wail pitifully. Oh, whoa, whoa. Very, very sad. And the villagers on next to the well says, well, we couldn't do anything about it. I mean, um, they prayed, so we got to go, we got to go. So still, and put all this stuff on into the well. <coughs> and after a few moments, the welling stopped. And they were wondering, was he dead? Or was he given up? And they were afraid to look, but out of curiosity, one of those villagers went to the edge of the well, and he was screaming. He said, come here to look. Come quick. The donkey was alive and well. And donkey was mad, but also dignified. What he did is he shrug off the dirt and he stamped on the dirt under beneath him and pat him down. And he rose up. And more dirt come in, he did it again. <laughs> right? So each time he did it, he was higher. So eventually, he got to the edge of the well, he went. And then the villagers said, oh, oh, this was not an ordinary donkey. This is not a ordinary donkey. They must have the spirit of the emperor. So when they finished the temple, you know what they did? They built a statue of this donkey in the back of the temple. I want to hear from you, right, of this story. What do you feel? How do you feel? What do you learn from this story? What is the story telling us? He used his strength. The strength. Right? You see, in our current life, if you want to live the moment, you cannot just like that dowers the monk and meditate all day. You have bills to pay. Right? You have work to do. You have ch children to raise. You have elders to respect, to take care of. Right? So you cannot just sit there, meditate. How do you deal with the challenges? The ch challenges of our life coming down where it's just like a sand and mud. Where's, uh, where, um, what's her name? Wanda, she was not here yet, right? No. Yeah. And her story, you wouldn't even believe it. I will let her to tell one day, right? Any one of you 
the story, and your story, and your story, and your story, and all of you have a story of this sand, mud, rocks coming down at you. But did you do what the monk, what the, um, the donkey did? Close your eyes now. And I want you to go on a journey with me to visit that site in ancient China, in this village. I want you to bring yourself together with me to this site of the well. Vividly, you are sensing and seeing or even hearing that situation. Villagers down with the shovel, shovels, the dirt and the rock and the mud and sand into this well. And the donkey is inside. I want you to imagine yourself That poor, helpless donkey. You are the donkey. You're inside. And I want you to imagine or connect the villagers, the farmers, the people who dump those stuff on you are the person, the people that are involved in that situation in your real life. Could be your father, your ex-boyfriend, your ex-husband, your co-worker, your mother, and your relatives, whatever it is. I want you to almost change the villagers with the people in your memory. They are pouring those bad stuff onto you. They make you scared and shocked and hurt. Your life is in danger. Now, I want you to take a breath. I want you to Switch your vision to look to look at those uh, vi uh, villagers again. Do they hate me? Did they do the things that they did to me because they hated me? Because they want to kill me? Do they? Did they? actually want me to be buried alive. Now replace those villagers with the people in your life that you cannot get rid of, that you hate so much, that you carry in the land. Did they do the things they did to you because they couldn't help it? Because they didn't have any choice. Either because they were stupid, because either they are not good, or because they were in a different kind of situation, the pressure, or because simply they didn't even know why they did it. All of that. Find one. Find a reason. Feel a reason. See a reason. Try voyantly. Essentially, feel it. You're getting somewhere. You know, they didn't want you dead. They don't want you dead. They didn't want you dead. They didn't want to kill you. Whatever the reason is, take deep breath. 
And I want you to say to yourself, certainly, I'm not taking personal. I'll let you go. I'm not taking this personal. 